question number 56 let's read it under what conditions real gases behave as ideal gases students at high temperature and at low pressure real gases behaves as ideal gases that means the correct answer is option number two Going to next question, students, which is question number 57. The Van der Waals constant B for three gases are given. The correct order of Vc is represented in. Students, we know that Vc, that is critical volume, is equals to 3B. So, the gas for which the value of B is higher, the value of Vc will be higher for the same gas. So, here it is very clear that the value of B is highest for A and least is for B. So, the correct order for Vc is represented in option number 4. Highest for A and least for B. That means answer is option number 4. Moving to the next question, which is question number 58. Let's read it. If the gas expands isothermally, then the number of molecules of the gas decreases. Students, this is an incorrect statement as the number of molecules of the gas remains same. The kinetic energy of the gas molecules decreases. No. The kinetic energy of the gas molecules remains the same. Student, this is a correct statement as we know that kinetic energy is equal to 3 by 2 RT. That means kinetic energy depends upon temperature. If the conditions are isothermal, that means there is no change in the temperature. The kinetic energy will remain same. Moving to the last, the number of molecules of the gas increases. Student, this is also an incorrect statement. That means the correct answer for this question is option number 3. Moving to the next question, which is question number 59. Let's read the question. In which of the following pairs, dipole-dipole interactions are present? Students in between polar molecules, dipole-dipole interactions are present. So, among the given options, in option number 3, both the molecules given are polar, that is HCl and H2S. So, there exists dipole-dipole interaction. That means the correct answer is option number 3. Moving to the next question, which is question number 60. Let's read it. The value of equilibrium constants for the reaction N2 plus 2O2 gives 2NO2 and NO2 gives half N2 and O2 are K and K dash respectively. The relation between K and K dash is. So students, it is very clear that the first reaction we are given with is N2 gaseous plus 2O2 gaseous 2NO2 gaseous. Here the equilibrium constant is K. So, on the second reaction, it is very clear that first the reaction is reversed and then it is multiplied by half. So, first I am reversing the reaction. It will be 2NO2 gaseous gives N2 gaseous plus 2O2 gaseous. Here, the value of equilibrium constant will become 1 upon K. Let's multiply the entire reaction with half. It will become NO2 gaseous gives half N2 gaseous plus O2 gaseous. Equilibrium constant K dash for the reaction will be 1 upon under root of K. That means the correct answer is option number 3. Moving to the next question, 